Hi, my name is Matt Locke and this is the Everyday Athletes Vlog, the vlog for the everyday athletes around the world who refuse to be average and who want to create a legacy of health, fitness and achievement in every aspect of their lives. I'm glad you're here and once again it's time to forge your future. Alicia Boone, it is a pleasure to have you on the Everyday Athletes Podcast. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Thanks for having me, Matt. No, not at all. Always a pleasure to chat and um, as we, uh, we just... I guess uh, said a minute ago, I've already burned 15 minutes of time chatting with you before we have started recording, and it's always a pleasure. But um, we find ourselves in this strange time, do we not, uh, with C19 upon us? Yeah, it is a really, really strange time to be living in. I mean, a lot of people have had to adapt and change the way they do things, but um, yeah, definitely an interesting time. I guess we're in Australia here. We're I think three, three to well, I think three to four weeks uh, into. Um, the current, let's say, uh, lockdown. It's not. It's not a lockdown. It, it's sort of isolation, self isolation, and social distancing, um, or physical distancing, as um, Brenda would like us to say, from Fit Fam in Perth, um, but, which I think is right. Actually, it's physical distancing. But um, I guess we're all settling into a new norm. And what I thought we'd do today is just take the opportunity of, I guess, digging in a little bit to how you're um, handling the whole C19 situation, how you're staying motivated. Um, I know that in a future episode, we're going to talk about the reality of you also being an everyday athlete and having a full-time job. Uh, you have family commitments, you have home commitments, you have a, everything that we all have, actually. But um, I'd be really interested, someone that's performing at your level um, and obviously has maintained that a supreme level of fitness um, over many years now. Um, how are you doing? Where are you at? Well, I'm sure when, like everyone, when the gym's closed down, I feel like, my norm was just thrown out the window. Routine and schedule kind of changed a lot. Um, I actually came back from Bali from a wedding and had to go into 14 day isolation where we couldn't leave our apartment. And in that time, it was, I guess, I was able to adjust and actually just find ways, creative ways around the house to just move. I mean, for the head, it's not normal for me not to work out. So I had to make it a point to actually just get up and do something and, at the same time every day. Um, but other than that, it's it's all about getting creative and just trying to find ways to stay moving and stay active. It's yeah. good for the head, the body, and just keeps you normal, keeps you feeling normal through these times. Yeah, absolutely. So, so you created a routine for yourself. You had a routine that you became your new routine for those 14 days. Yeah, absolutely. The routine, I mean, I'm still working and I'm still working full time. It's probably longer hours now. I've had some few midnight finishes, but um, creating that routine, it's still business as usual. If you keep it as normal as possible in your head, um, writing down a schedule of get up, move for about half an hour, then have breakfast, sit down and do my work and schedule in a lunchtime break and a lunchtime walk if you can, and then just stick to that schedule. So even in the evening, it's the same workout hours and then come back in the same routine. A bit mundane, but it puts um, structure to this chaotic time. Yeah, absolutely. I've got, um, oh, like all of us, we've got many friends who are now working from home. And uh, one in particular, I, <laughs> it was the classic, he stood up at the end of our call and he was wearing his pajama bottoms. Um, <laughs> and I said I'm not him, gonna lie, the attire has definitely changed. <laughs> no, that's uh, fair enough. I, um, I'm not gonna ask you to stand up now, just in case. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, I won't name and shame Alex Benny. But, um, <laughs> but I said to him, mate, you've got to get into a routine. I said, you know, you need to, I mean, you don't have to dress like you necessarily would for work. But I, I personally think there's a benefit to um, certainly having that level of discipline. I've worked from home on and off for years and I needed that. I needed that sense of get up, move, train, eat, whatever you've got to do, but then somehow get dressed um, yes. and, and then be in my workspace, albeit at home. Um, and as you say, make sure that you, if anything, set alarms even to have, have smoke or have um, lunch break, whatever it's going to be. Um, but I, I personally felt that that was important um, to a, it helps my sanity a little bit, but also it stopped me working, just working through and getting lost in what I was doing. And suddenly I haven't moved. I've just been sitting sedentary for hours, um, probably not hydrated properly. And yeah. <laughs> which, yeah, really. Um, look, I do have a green tea with me right now. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I have a hydrolyte with me, so we're still good. We're staying hydrated. Yeah. Uh, very good. So um, so you came up from Bali, had literally 14 days of confinement. Uh, 
Yeah, 14 days of confinement, really close quarters with myself and Lima, which is, was really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> in an awesome way I'm quite sure <laughs> yep yep we're definitely getting to know each other a lot better we have reconnected I'm sure it's um <laughs> we've also discovered TikTok which is really time consuming now I've been watching I've been liking your TikToks no question <laughs> time well spent <laughs> time well spent but um, during those two weeks were you doing anything online uh, with any of the gyms that you're associated with uh, have they moved to the online training and you got involved in that yeah, so um, the gym I go to is CrossFit Active and they transferred everything to online. So they hold Zoom classes in the morning and the evenings and then they also offer like mindset and mobility segments that you can do at home. So I jumped in on the classes and that was the best thing to do to stay accountable, um, not just to yourself, but to a community in general. Because if you didn't show up, you had your friends messaging you saying, hey, come on, stay consistent, where are you? And I think that definitely helps just keep you involved and um, connected with everyone in your community. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? If anything, um, I mean, obviously it's a dreadful situation for, for many people around the world and um, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's uncomfortable for most of us, I think, to be in this situation. Um, although most of us don't have too much to complain about in reality. Um, but I, I can't help but feel that this has caused a, a, one, you know, a good shift in the direction of even more camaraderie even greater connection because we have to be more deliberate about it. We have to go out of our way to think about it. And um, certainly we've been sort of posting and talking about recently about um, how the Grand Slam is going to, is morphing into all about maintaining that community, giving the community something to focus on. Um, and, and at the end of the day, leave no one behind actually. It's the sort of, it, it, it's a line, it's a tagline almost that's naturally evolved because that's the spirit of it now. Um, it's shifted in the direction of, just make sure we keep everyone with us as we go through this journey of, I guess, self-isolation, yet staying fit, and also you know, taking care of mental health. Yeah, I think that it's definitely forced me to reach out and stay connected with those uh, friends and family around the world. Um, I've definitely had more time because there's less distraction of having to be somewhere. Now that you're at home, you've actually got the time to make those connections with people. And I've found it be really valuable um, for myself and for my friends. Interesting, isn't it? How much, um, yeah, how much more room there is. You're right. I think there's a lot of the white noise seems to have gone. Um, so much like of the that. white noise is gone. And I think we always come up with excuses to not do something or to not reach out to someone. And now it's taken all that away. And it's actually created more valuable friendships now, I feel. Yeah, I, I can only agree. And um, I, I reckon that whenever, we come out the back end of this thing and we will uh, whenever that is um, being conscious of not allowing or, or at least minimizing the amount of that white noise that returns to our daily grind if you like because there's definitely a value in not having it there absolutely i i have to agree with that for sure but, um i guess we said that with all good intentions now but of course when the when normality returns, whatever that looks like, um, it, it's hard to hang on to it, isn't it? But I, I think trying to be conscious of that. Um, anyway, but so now you're, you're beyond your 14 days. Um, and what, what do your days look like now? You said you, um, you're working still full time. In fact, if not more hours, which I'm sorry to hear, uh, because I know yeah. you already worked a lot of hours. <laughs> I'm, I'm very grateful to still have a job. And I know that the better that I do my job, other people get to keep theirs. So... It's also bonded us as a team in my workplace. Um, we're actually working super hard just to make sure that everyone else gets to keep theirs. No, absolutely. Well, that's, yeah, that's um, an incredibly positive and awesome way to look at it, and which is right as well, I, I think. Um, you, you don't have to name the company, but you can if you want to. What, what do you do for a living? Um, so I'm a property manager. So uh, we mainly deal with leasing for all of our uh, bulky good furniture retail. Yep. Yep. So I work for Greenlit Brands, which was... Freedom Furniture, Fantastic Furniture, Snooze and Plush, OMF, a lot of other brands. Yeah, okay. So hence the reason you're busier than ever. In interesting times. <laughs> Absolutely. Dealing with rentals and leases. Yeah, sure. And um, so when you're not doing that, how, how are you managing your training and I guess maintaining your, your level of fitness? Um, I'm still following a structured program. So I'm still with Star Strength and he gives me the group, uh, group program on a weekly basis. And I try to follow it as much as I can. That way, it, if I have a program set out, it takes away any excuse to like not do something. 
So by having a structured program, I'm accountable to that. <laughs> and plus, I also have my own personal goals that I'm still trying to work towards. And I've got to remember the bigger picture. So I always focus on the bigger picture and not just the here and now. Yeah, sure. And um, is that something that you focus on on a sort of daily basis? Is that something you work on or re remind yourself of? Um, you know, vision boards or just having them written down and refer to them? Uh, do you meditate? Is there any of those aspects feature in your life regularly? Yeah. So I've actually started going back to the whole journaling process, just five minutes every morning, just to set my intentions for the day. Um, also try to express daily gratitude each day. And the intentions are normally set out for work goals um, and also a workout goal and just uh, like a connection goal with someone or a family member. And I try to, when I am training, I still think of that bigger goal. Um, yes, I love to compete. And I think I put up a post the other day about staying accountable to your future self. If I take a day off, if I'm lazy or if I am binging on food, am I going to regret that later? And more often than not, it's yes. So it, that motivates me to get up and keep moving. Yeah, no, that, that's amazing. And, and obviously, it, clearly a big part of how you're staying motivated during mm -hmm. the current uh, pandemic, which is what it is. So how's Easter weekend gone then? If you're um, being that intentional and deliberate with your training and your nutrition, um, yeah. <laughs> you're a chocolate fiend or? <laughs> no, no, so I haven't had any Easter eggs. <laughs> None whatsoever. I have had a couple hot cross buns though. Um, I may have discovered wine drinking again, so <laughs> I've had a couple of those, but I think you've also got to have a bit of a balance. You've got to be relaxed as well as like keep to your goal. So I've had a few Zoom catch-ups with some friends over a couple of wines, but again, my non-negotiable is to get up and move. So the next morning, straight away, get up, go to a park and do some step-up lunges and go for a run. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It's just stay consistent. Yeah, sure. No, that, that's great. And, and the balance, uh, one of the, that, that resonates with me, and I think it will with our audience, but also I remember um, Craig Alexander or Crowey, um, who was a very successful uh, world champion Ironman uh, Australian, lives in Cronulla, or did. Um, I remember hearing his answer once and said, oh, you know, do you, have, do you ever drink beers? Like, is that, is that part of your routine? And he said, yeah, I have a beer. He said, I never have enough where it will affect my training the next day. That's always my focus. He said, so I have a beer? but never enough that it will impair my performance for training the next day. And it always struck me as a very sound answer. Um, it's a great answer. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's absolutely a great answer. You, do, you still want to be as normal as possible as like an everyday person. You still want to enjoy life. Life is there to be enjoyed. But you also want to keep going with what you have in mind and your goals. Yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. So um, if we were to give any takeaways, I think, from um, from today's chat, um, mm -hmm. actually, what I'm, I think um, what you've just talked us through, but certainly the journaling um, seems to be an important part and being uh, st was it staying true to your future self. Yes, stay true to your future self, stay accountable to your future self. That is probably my biggest takeaway if I'm to impart any sort of wisdom or knowledge on everyone. And in particular, I think the journaling right now because for sure each day is a bit groundhog day-ish for many yes. um, and therefore I could imagine the journaling being quite useful beneficial um, for many just to kind of reset each day and be clear about what today's objectives are absolutely journaling and setting your intentions for the day and realizing that there's still so much good even amongst all this chaotic and um, be sure to recognize it they say that um, you know, if you see take away small wins or small things of gratitude, it builds, it builds momentum. And I think that keeping that momentum going or the positive mindset, cultivating a positive mindset, it'll just, you know, you'll come out of the other end better. Yeah, absolutely. And look, without doubt, um, Tony Robbins has made popular one of, um, amongst others, um, one of the human needs we have. Uh, the number one is certainty. Um, mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, what none of us have right now is certainty. We have lots of uncertainty. We don't know how long this is going to last for. Um, certainly here in Australia, will will we get locked down further or are we going to try this herd immunity approach? And there's just uncertainty riddled throughout our lives. But I, I think, and certainly the way I look at it is there are, I guess I worry about the things I can control, the things that I have direct control over. And number one, coming again from my sort of endurance uh, competition days, um, one of the announcers, Mike Riley, used to say, there's the one thing you can control, and that's your attitude. Um, and Absolutely. there on, on the course, in that case, um, 
is your attitude and no one else has control of it, only you. And uh, I think that's incredibly pertinent um, in today's times when we don't have uncertainty. Therefore, we can take control um, because we do have control, even if it's over the most minuscule of things in our lives, we still have control over it. And that to me uh, is a very important mindset to try and retain. That is definitely a great way of putting it. Yeah, control the controllables and your attitude is definitely one of them. Absolutely. Um, Alethea, for those I'm sure who would want to reach out and connect with you and say hi or maybe have some questions, how would they do that? Um, you can just reach out to me on Instagram, Alethea underscore Boone, and it's the same again on Facebook. Send me a message, a DM, or even just, just email me. I'm always open to conversations, and if you ever need anything, just email me, alethiaboone at gmail.com. That's awesome. Alethea, thank you so much for your time today. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And stay safe, everyone. Well, there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell icon so you get notified every time we upload a new episode. And if you think that one of your training buddies would also enjoy this, go ahead and share it with them right now. Thank you once again and... We'll see you next time.